thank you so much for enjoying these videos. I love hearing that. I love creating these. Um, I haven't been making as many since summer started for me, but um, I am more than glad to answer this question. So I have been coaching for six years. Um, I currently coach at a high school, even though my teaching experience was for 11 years in the elementary world. I taught fifth grade math and writing. I taught kindergarten and I taught third grade math and then took this job as a high school instructional coach, um, which that's a whole, that's a whole interesting dynamic that people always have questions about as well. Um, but what I'll say just briefly to that, cause I think I've probably spoken to this in videos before is that for secondary teachers, so much of their training when they went through college was in their content area. So math teachers learned a lot about math, not so much about teaching and best practices. Whereas an elementary teacher, I was trained and in the elementary world got to use a whole lot of um, strategies for teaching. And so the content, I mean, that's certainly important, but my training and my expertise is even more in um, instructional strategies than it is in anything else. So, so many times the teachers that I work with are just so appreciative that we can work together and um, they can do, you know, learning alongside me, me learning their content, them learning instructional strategies to best engage students. As far as um, my own education goes, I have a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies, which is a fancy way of saying elementary education. I have a master's degree in education administration. And then I have my EDS or my educational specialist degree in just, it's in general in education. Um, I did not have to have the EDS to get this job. I want to say I didn't even have to have the master's degree to get this job. I think for me and my role, I just had to have a bachelor's degree. Um, and I do actually have a, um, a video, I think on YouTube that I will try and pop in the comments here of specifically different certifications and things that you can get for instructional coaching. But for most cases, for most people who are just curious about the role, you don't have to have necessarily extra certifications or specialized degrees for an instructional coach, but they typically do like for you to have plenty of classroom experience. So thank you so much for this question. And I hope that this helps and that you keep watching and keep reading those gym night books because you know I'm a big fan of those too. Mm -hmm.